Well, Portsmouth residents are calling for change at an intersection where a driver took off after hitting a postal worker. That worker, Maggie White, later died. Now neighbors say something has to happen before more people are hurt or killed. News 3 reporter Kofo Lasaki with why they are demanding action. My daughter said the other day when we found out that she was able to donate her organs, she said, whoever gets Maggie's heart is extra lucky because that was one amazing lady. Faith Lutheran Church in Suffolk is mourning the loss of their beloved member, Maggie White, a wife, a mother, and dear friend to Kate Hofstetter. Maggie was, she was a force. She was, she was the life of the party. She was a prankster. She had a great sense of humor. She loved hard and deep and truly. White was a youth director for three years and had a gift for connecting with people. She loved working for the post office and she never met a stranger. So every place she went, she was talking to people. The 44 year old was delivering mail on her route last Tuesday when she was killed after a hit and run on Airline Boulevard near Caroline Avenue. Police are looking for the driver of this car, a black Dodge Journey that flagged down an officer about the crash. Police say there have been 23 crashes in this area since 2016, an average of about six crashes a year, and neighbors say it's time for something to be done about this intersection. They need to put traffic lights or speed bumps or something because this is constant. It, it's like constantly speeding. It's just, it's, it's horrible. I mean, I, what else can I say? It's, it's horrible. After the hit and run last week, a tearful neighbor told News 3 residents have been trying to get a stoplight and nothing has been done. We need a light here. We really need a light here. If they don't get a street light here, it's going to be, it's going to keep getting back. Maureen O'Donnell says a few months ago there was a three car crash in her neighbor's yard. I guess somebody came to the stop sign, hit another car, that car hit another car, and the car wound up on that person's lawn. They have no respect for the stop signs, a lot of people. No respect for the speed limit. Did you see that? Just as O'Donnell was talking about cars not stopping, this white van rolled right through the intersection. In fact, we caught multiple cars taking the stop sign as a suggestion. A petition for a stoplight has close to 200 signatures online. Now neighbors wonder how many more people need to get hurt or killed before something is done. Something's wrong. <laughs> they need to fix it. In Portsmouth, Kofo Lasaki, News 3.